morning, everyone. So, first call to business is going to be approval of minutes for the 22nd and the 27th. If we have a motion, so move. Second. Proceed to. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Right. And Dave, to yep. report on some financials. Yes. Uh, actually, you just it's an action that I did on your behalf on March 2nd. I uh, acknowledged on behalf of uh, you for Job and Family Services the following new hire appointments. As the Director of Job and Family Services, complied with the Board of Commissioners recruitment and hiring position procedures. So there's five people here, and they are all replacements. So these are no new positions, these are simply replacements. Mm -hmm. Mandy Galloway, Social Services Worker 2, effective December 11, 2017. Sharita Wren, Social Services Worker 2, effective December 27, 2017. Also on December 27, 2017, uh, Alexis Lindenberger, Social Services Worker 2. And <coughs> on uh, Feb January 29th, Robin Pavlik, Clerical Specialist 2. And finally, on uh, February 9th, Kathleen <coughs> Ostrowski, Social Services Worker 1. And these, are, again, are all replacements. That's it. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Very good, Dave. Good morning, Adrian. Good morning. Okay, uh, in the financials today, we have a revenue certification for the ADP board and their computer equipment improvements fund. Under encumbrances, we have uh, then and now encumbrances for the auditor's office for monitors purchased from SHI International Corp. Uh, contract purchase order from the commissioner's office for Mazinek, Raskin, and Ryder Company LPA. Travel requests from Common Police Court for the 2020 Jury Management Conference. Travel requests from JFS to attend the OCDA Spring Symposium, and travel requests from the Reporters Office for the 14th District Elected Officials Conference, and a purchase order from Water Resources to Junction Buick for a 2018 GMC 3500 extended cab 4x4. And among the vouchers, we have 95,755.62 from ADP to Logic Callus Incorporated for the Cisco Network. Hardware and software support contract, um, $96,491.92 from the auditor's office to Manitron for maintenance and support contract for the property tax system, $7,050 from the auditor's office to Latitude Geographics Group LTD for GIS pictometry support, $21,301 from the Common Police Court to Sheriff's Office for the transfer of TCAP funds. 8,240 from the Sheriff's Office uh, to NITV Federal Services for two CBSA two Dell laptops. 26,880.75 from Transit to Foxter Solutions for the vehicle scheduling software. And finally, 26,523.77 from Water Resources to Junction Buick for a 2018 Ram Pro Master Cargo Van. So a couple of things, uh, Adrian and I were talking before we came in here today. Um, uh, Dave was briefly in that conversation and I reached out to the IT department on these, um, the maintenance contracts for our software and our hardware software. Um, the one got approved quite a while ago, the ADP Logic Callus, that was um, either in January or just before the end of the year. Um, and some of these, I'm a little concerned that we've not ever revisited mm -hmm. if those maintenance amounts are proper. Uh, and what the contract uh, agreement is on those. You know, is it tied to the original purchase price? Oftentimes it's like an 18% of original software purchase price or whatever. Um, and so I've asked um, the IT department uh, Al, to uh, get us some information on those contracts and stuff. So Dave suggested we go ahead and approve these, but hold on to them. I'm going to hold on to the checks. They don't release the check until you've had a chance. Until we get a chance to kind of review those, given all the stuff that's been happening over in the IT department, I'd like to, to see, make sure that we've revisited these maintenance contracts. They're very expensive, mm -hmm. and make sure that there's. Were these were these contracts still uh, uh, negotiated and approved when uh, our past uh, IT director was still around. Well, like I said, logic Manitron, both been, of them have been around for a while. So Yeah, yeah, I would, I would be uncomfortable moving forward on that until we take a 
another look. So we, yeah. we go print the checks and then have them show us the documentation, show us what this is based on. Also, yeah, else supposed to send that. To did I, I? I thought I had heard, and I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. If anyone knows, but I'd heard that uh, um, ADP and IT were considering hiring four more employee, employees. Is that correct? These are replacements. And it's, I think it, I think the number is actually three. I sat in on a couple of interviews yesterday. Okay. It's three, but it's within their existing budget. You know, okay. They're, they're aware of what their limitations are. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So um, in any case, I was going to suggest that we t review those because, um, as you said. These kind of just go along, and people don't really go back and revisit what those are all about. And, and you don't. I want to. I'd like to see what's inside of those contracts. Make sure that they're appropriate, and that we've uh, we have an opportunity to renegotiate them. Or Sometimes, like with the Cisco equipment, it's cheaper to buy a spare and have it on the shelf than pay maintenance on. Mm -hmm. but when I talked to Al yesterday, he did actually say that uh, next year, what their plan is is as some of these things go down in price, they're going to stock up on some of these and. Uh, Part of what they're paying for here is the four-hour response time. Right. So when something goes down, they need to, to get it in right away and have the experts come in and help take care of that. But as the price of stuff goes down, they can literally have one of these on hand. Exactly. And they don't have to worry about four hours. They just unplug one, plug the other one in, and exactly. off they go. I see. So they are looking to try and eliminate at least the, uh, the Logicalis one. They're expecting that to be lower next year as a result because they won't need that four-hour response time. There's, to have uh, backup you know, there's tools, I think, that you know, they're going to start looking at. They talked about briefly yesterday. Uh, they right now have kind of a network administrative tool that basically shows you what's going on, but there's a more powerful tool available that actually lets you save all the configurations of all the manuscripts <coughs> and the routers in the network. And you have a situation like that where piece of hardware goes bad, you can put it on the shelf and then you can restore the configuration for that switch. Hmm. So that that will make that department more productive and able to respond faster. So anyway, that's my suggestion. We hold off on moving those checks out until we get a little more information on those. Make sure, they, make sure that we, we've that. checked on those. And that, yep. you know. And yeah. now, now, if I may, uh, there was a reference uh, to Masonic Ryder, the legal firm. Was that, was that an invoice? No, that's an encumbrance. So that's a, a, a purchase order that we're setting up. Okay, can you in order to spend money with with that particular, and that was a via a court order right. from the the judge uptown. Right, right, right. Uh, is there a dollar amount on that encumbrance? Uh, ten thousand dollars right now. Ten thousand right now, and that could be subject to fluctuation. We may we may not spend any of it. We may have to increase it. It just depends. Okay. It was actually the, the prosecutor's defense. Uh, the prosecutor's action. Yes. Yes. For, yes. 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 Uh, for the extra assistance. For, for the yes. sake of the general public, an encumbrance just sets the money aside. Money aside. So right. it's not spending anything yet. Right. It's just allocating it's just the dollars. You, you can't it. spend something you haven't set right. aside to spend. Out of that if you time. don't do that, and then you get a bill, then you got to do the dreaded then and now. Mm -hmm. and try to avoid <laughs> right, and the auditor is looking. Yes, yes. yeah. So, so will we approve the financials then? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll just hold the check. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's all. Okay. So, so, so second. Mr. Yes. Mr. Right. Yes. Thanks, Adrian. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for catching that too, Skip. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Shane, there you are. How, How are you doing, doing buddy? Good. Good, good. Excellent. Good morning. Good morning. So we have three items on the agenda this morning. One, the first one is a memorandum of understanding between commissioners and the city of Chardon to uh, be reimbursed for asphalt work on Wing Road inside the city limits, what we talked about uh, the last meeting I was at, uh, but this is the formal document uh, to allow them to reimburse the county for those expenditures. And then the other two are uh, plan approval for the resurfacing of County Highway 3, Claire and Troy Road in Burton, and County Highway 4, Auburn Road in Auburn Township. And those are federal aid uh, projects. We do not have the federal aid authorization to go out to bid yet, but we're getting the plan approval. 
out of the way, and then I'll be back for a uh, request to uh, order those projects to be bid at a future date. Okay. Go read them all together. The County Engineer's Office is requesting the Board approve and execute resolution number 18 035, memorandum of understanding between the City of Chardon and the Jug County Board of Commissioners for the improvement of Wing Road C27, Section C, in the City of Chardon, Chardon, London Townships. The County Engineer's Office is requesting the Board approve and execute the title sheet for the specifications for the asphalt resurfacing of Clarendon Square Road, CH3, Sections A through C, in Burton Township. The County Engineer's Office is requesting the Board approve and execute the title sheet for the specifications for the asphalt resurfacing of Auburn Road, CH4, Sections D through E, in Auburn Township. Second. Commissioner Clifton? Yes. Commissioner Martin? Yes. So I got a uh, call yesterday from an Amish uh, individual. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to run a call in um, But uh, apparently they had to put a horse down. Uh, they were out on Newcomb Road and they the horse uh, broke its leg or something. On, did you hear anything about that? Yeah. Did you about that? So he's asking what we can do and as you know, uh, commissioners have limited ability up there. That's do we. But yeah, there's some, there's some ongoing maintenance responsibilities that I think uh, they're working on, but we don't have control over their maintenance department, so I know that they've been trying to add material to the road just to get it to be a better riding surface and make it stable. This time of year is really tough for uh, any gravel road. Uh, but the product that they were using for dust control is kind of made it uh, exaggerated. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is, is Joe back? You know, he was out sick. Um, yeah. yeah. I noticed um, yesterday I was heading north on Auburn and, um, you know, East Washington there, mm -hmm. and that's really gotten bad. Yes. Yes. That's, that's, that's going to be the next three yeah. of yeah. our list today. Okay, good. Yeah. That was, I've never seen it like that before, you know, to just it's Over. been it's been that section or those two sections from Washington Street to Frank's yeah. have been getting progressively worse and uh, it took some convincing at the at the federal funding level to make sure that those projects got the funding yeah. that they had been originally Good. you know slated for but didn't uh, the funding hadn't been approved mm -hmm. so we we have the authority to to prepare the plans and we're waiting for the final say so to, to go, but that'll be a, a May, June mm -hmm. start. Um, so that will be, that won't be like that for very long. Okay. Thank you. Every, I appreciate your work on that. We got a, yeah, another call you can give Joe a heads up from uh, a bunch of kids who want signs put out on various highways. They think that there's not enough signage and want to know who to talk to. So. That will be, <laughs> that will be an interesting conversation. Not enough I said, signs. Uh, yeah. So, I know just the guy for you to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Good. Yeah, good. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, sir. Appreciate care, it. Guys. You're doing good work. See you next week. All right. Who's coming back for more? <laughs> so, number when, eight. Uh, can you explain this thing a little bit? I don't know anything about it. Oh. Adrian is oh. her supervisor. Oh, okay. Her and daughter is graduating. Her stepdaughter is graduating, and so she's taking the day off in June to go down there for graduation because it's in Virginia. Mm -hmm. And then the week is a pre-scheduled vacation that was um, in place prior to Ohio. And because she hasn't been here a full year, that she gets no vacation at all. So the commissioners have to approve unpaid leave of absence for anybody in that situation. Okay. okay. So the commissioner's office is requesting the board approve an unpaid personal leave of absence for Kelly Goodnight for June 1st, 2018, 8 hours, and the period of June 11th through June 15th, 2018, 40 hours. This will extend her probationary period by six days for the 48 hours. So moved. Second. Commissioner Clifford? Yep. Commissioner Yes. Just Hi. Hi. Okay, and then number nine, we've uh, is requesting the board move into executive session for the purpose of discussing employment of a public employee. Yes. Right. Uh, yep. 
Okay. Okay. Um, do you want to talk to um, Amy and Joe about Sapphire Creek yesterday? Oh, before you go in? Yeah. Sure. Oh. Before yeah. you take off? Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Then yeah. they're not about me. You're back on now. I think we, we had, had got a picture taken yesterday. Right? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Turn it back on to you. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if you guys would be interested. Uh, we had uh, uh, media. We did a tour yesterday of the Sapphire Winery down in um, Bainbridge. Uh, absolutely a phenomenal facility. Uh, it just so happens the county um, made a loan, helped to get that business uh, up and running on its feet. And uh, if anybody's not been down there, it is really a, a neat place. We're excited about it starting up. I said they, I think they said uh, March 20th, um, they're going to be opening the doors. Um, we we did a tour of the facility yesterday. Uh, I've got some pictures if anybody's interested. I just took them like selfies kind of thing. Um, but uh, it, it is really kind of cool. We want to highlight them as one of the businesses in Geauga County. Um, we're constantly uh, looking to help businesses get up and running, and, and uh, especially uh, businesses like this that are really going to bring some value to the community and so forth. Mm -hmm. So it's really going to be fun and exciting uh, for this business to get up and on its feet and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So, again, Hungry Bee is going to be running the uh, catering service, and I've already yes. seen the menu. They were nice enough to let me see it, and it's it's going to be an interesting menu. Mm -hmm. yeah, it is really neat. They have a private labeled wine. They have a, a, a company out in, Cal in Napa Valley who have private labeled wine. Um, we got to, to taste. We didn't swallow, but we got to taste some <laughs> wine yesterday. And, uh, <laughs> hey, if you might, some of you may have been here last year when we did like the video. If you go on their website, there's like a virtual tour. I think everybody that was there yesterday looked and said, you know, this is better, I mean, it came up, usually the virtual, the design concepts don't quite live up to their hype in real life. This was actually oh, better yeah. than what we saw in that in that tour. Very, so. very unique, you know, and uh, um, they were already booked for, I think, 70 weddings or something already. Yeah, so, almost two years yeah. worth of uh, weddings and other events yeah. and that kind of stuff. It really was it's, a pretty neat place. So if you've not been out there, if you guys want to uh, run a... Uh, I don't know if you're interested in seeing any of the pictures, but... Do you have any wine? Do you have any wine? I just yeah. spit it all out. So. The only wine we ever have around here is spelled W-H-I-N-E. Yeah. yeah. We got plenty of that. Yeah. Yeah. But it is yeah. worth... Anita uh, uh, Stocker did a lot of work to help um, get them funding. Um, you know, there are various banks involved and so forth to get the funding necessary to make this happen. But it, it is really a neat facility. In, an, in the location, it's kind of surprising because it's in an industrial park. When you drive into it, you think, wow, you know, this is, mm -hmm. why would you put a winery in the middle of an industrial park? But the view is just phenomenal mm -hmm. down there. The designer um, um, did a great job. Uh, and I will just uh, I'll put a teaser out there. Um, if you go there, it's particularly in the evening, you're going to see a full moon, full moon every night. And so um, I was wondering why it, is, it is really pretty cool. So. Yeah. If there's any questions on it or anything, you can reach out to either. I'm sure that they've got their website up and running and all that. But did want to highlight the fact that the uh, it's one of those businesses that we're actively involved with. I'm going to be going and, vis and visiting. Uh, um, what's the engineering company? Endeavor. Endeavor. Engineering Endeavor. Endeavor. Thank you. Because that would be open. I was having a milk cream. You remember the amount of the loan that was provided? Um, I don't. I think the. I think the. Uh, you know, we always. I think it was hundred. Yeah, I think it was around a hundred, hundred fifty thousand. It was on yeah. our local revolving loan fund, which then is, you know, the banks, other financial institutions, kind of piggy bag on that. But by having that collaboration of multiple lenders, that gives everybody confidence of the stability. Yeah. But they really put a lot of thought into, the design into where they put it because it's it's within easy access of the whole Chagrin Valley and Aurora and Hudson and. The, the demographic that they can reach there very easily is really phenomenal. Mm -hmm. They're going to do very nice business. And I think that plays into this board's, the, these three commissioners' initiative over the last year in, in trying to be more proactive in engaging businesses. And bring a professional on like Dave Favorite. Yeah, we just hired Dave Favorite as a director there for economic development. So that's been our you know, what we've been working on for the last year, you know, trying to get that going. Yeah, we've got a very special place here in Geauga County for a variety of reasons. And uh, businesses uh, that locate here 
um, really, um, I think, would benefit from the, the unique uh, culture that we have and all that. Um, one little endorsement, and it's not, I don't know that it would be um, known to many people, but um, our economic development staff has got a very good track record at recognizing businesses that are going to succeed. You know, most businesses fail in the first five years. And so um, we've got a pretty good track record. So if our economic development office endorses a business willing to loan them money, generally speaking, you're going to, I mean, I, I don't know that the percentages, but it's very low in terms of businesses that fail. We're doing a good job of assessing them. This business was one of those ones that got made it into the list. And so, Dave, did you want to say something? Yeah, I just want to add to that, that the Ohio Valley Group, an original, uh, originally started out in Chicago County, this commission lent them money to start. So they did That's right. working with the Ohio Valley Group, who's the parent company of the of this winery. Yeah, it's a local Geauga company that we just helped yes, grow and, and expand. And, and, so. and her husband owned the Ohio Valley Group. And then this is an outshoot from that. So it's a That's great right. story over a long period of time through the help of the county's commissioners. And, and they've, they've employed quite a few people over there over the last, you know, 15, 20 years. Yeah. Well, they have 50 employees, yeah. I think yesterday she said they're looking at an additional 20. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's a great story yeah. over a long period of time. Absolutely. You know, we want to want to emphasize that and keep keep building on that. You know, this is, you know, the, the iron's hot now. Now's a good time for us to be getting into this for sure. Yeah, a parting sentiment is... Uh, this is the first of hopefully many to come. Yeah. And so we'll, uh, we'll see what the, uh, trying to work to make the future bright for businesses in Jagger County. And so, but it's, it's a great business, great business, great people, uh, kind of business that uh, we really appreciate in our county. So anyway, with that said, we've got some pictures if you're interested, and we'll share them with you. So. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. That's why we did this. Yeah, yeah. 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 Everybody's been busy, you know. There's nothing falling through the cracks, you know. Hey, Greg, we we were just we were just uh, mentioning for Thursday. Tim and I, both of us, are not able for to to be there. We sent it out to Lisa already. She's off today, so I'll, I will cancel it then because I only got two for them. What happened with the uh, commissioners in Trumbull County? I mean, we were all lined up, weren't we? The, Go. It was supposed to be you guys, and then I had uh, uh, Morrow and Dan. Mm -hmm. Dan texted me at 7.15 yesterday and said he couldn't make it, or mm -hmm. we couldn't make it. Oh. So Frank was, when I went downtown to find out and get another date set, the, they didn't even know that the commissioners, they thought the commissioners were meet, meeting over with me. Mm -hmm. They're like, what are you doing here? I go, right. the meeting's canceled. So, okay. Frank was supposed to be the one meeting out at the arsenal. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Morrow can't meet on Mondays because he watches his little boy. He gets his little boy on Monday. Mm -hmm. And the girls told me that he was going to come to the meeting and they were going to watch him. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what happened mm -hmm. there. Okay. So it was just... So can you go in here, sir? No, we can't. Neither okay. of us. Can. So it's canceled. Yeah. Okay. I'll have to come up with another date. All right. Okay. So... Some of important things we got to get done. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. But and you we only need one guy. Uh, yeah, if I can right? get all of you... Because we'll, down we'll there, to come. yeah, because right now down there, Frank's, if Frank's at a meeting, he's at that meeting himself. He's, it's, so if I can get all three of you, then I can just say I need one of them. Okay. 
So I'll work with I'll work with Christine. And here. here's the other thing is I mean if if it would be easy for you to do that, you can I mean we could even do it right after this, next Tuesday. Frank could come down. Okay. You know what I mean? And it would be what we're here. And it's it we'll just we could just um, close this and then go into the solid waste meeting. That's fine. I'll see if I can get one of them to come up for next Tuesday. There's you so gotta much, we got to get stuff done. It got tabled and right, and we're at a standstill. Yeah, you got to advertise for that meeting and stuff, though, right? If we're going to do it up here. Yeah, but at least it gets those out. I mean, if I can get it scheduled today or today. tomorrow. And that we can do it, then she can get the notices out to the. To so the for, if he could do it that way, we could get the, everything done and move forward. So you'll have planning commission next Tuesday morning, and then here maybe we don't start until nine thirty. So then we'll have to take yeah. that in consideration. Yeah. The solid waste of by lunch, so that's fine. So I know they have. I'll see what they're meeting, but they have their work meeting on Tuesdays. So okay. I don't know if that's going to work. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll look at the timing. Yeah. Well, it's easier getting you three and getting one of them. Okay. Yeah. That's easy enough. They, so, can, they can start driving up here now. Okay. I, I have no problem with it. It's not that far. <laughs> right. I, I'm just saying if it's if you, if you could try to arrange that for for that to happen Tuesday, then we'll, we'll get it done because need, we need to get this figured out. I will do that. All right. And we're very close. We're right on the cusp of yet making some things happen. So. Okay, so we're back from executive session at uh, 9.48 and uh, with some uh, some action. And the commissioner's office is requesting the board approve the creation, title, and job description for the position of assistant county administrator number 1324 to be effective February 23rd, 2018. Yeah, they could just do them all together. The commissioner's office is requesting the board approve the revised organizational chart for the commissioner's office to include the position of assistant county administrator number 1324 and the revised county organizational chart, chart to include the Department of Development and the assistant county administrator to be effective February 23rd, 2018. The commissioner's office is requesting the board approve the promotion of Gerard Morgan to the position of assistant county administrator number 1324 to be effective March 26, 2018 at the rate of $40.60 per hour, grade 17, step 8. Second. Commissioner Playbull? Commissioner Lennon? Yes. Commissioner Spadoli? Aye. So now we're going to go into executive session again for the purpose of discussing the compensation of public employees. We could get a motion for that. Second. Commissioner Playbull? Yep. Commissioner Lennon? Yes. Commissioner Spadoli? So Linda, Dave.